Toronto Blue Jays going up against the New York Yankees. First pitch coming your way next. Coming up on the first pitch and towing the slab, Carlos Rodon. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. The pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. Next offering misses, and that's ball one. That's a strike across the top of the zone. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. Pulled the string of the changeup. Pulled Bichette up to the dish. That one is absolutely belted. That's down. One hops off the wall. Throws to second. He's in there. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. One out, runner at second. And here's the first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Hit hard, base hit. Coming home. Here's the throw to the plate. He scores and they have the lead. One nothing. Wastes no time there. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Man at first with one gone. Here's Justin Turner. In for a strike. It's 0-1. Rodon, multi-time all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a curve, and he works in a changeup. Rodon ready. Here comes. Swings and blasts one deep to left center, and it's into the gap. Guerrero around second, headed for third, headed for the plate. He scores, and they take a two-run lead. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. Double into the gap, and that was a really nice swing to beat the inside pitch. He just beat him to the spot. Kept his hands tight inside that baseball, and that just allowed him to drive it into the alley right there. Kevin Biggio with a chance to hit. And fires in a fastball at 95. Two runs across in the inning, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. That one ripped. Soto snags it, and there's two away. Let's take a look at the lineup for the Blue Jays. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, and there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. On to the bottom of the first. Blue Jays two, and the Yankees nothing. Back for more from the Bronx. 
And on the mound now, Kevin Gossman. How about a scouting report on him? Four-pitch guy. He's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later, maybe second, third time through the order and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket. As a hitter, you really have to stay on your toes. On the ground to the left. Sends it across to first. One up, one down. And time now to check out the New York Yankees lineup. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Oh, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit, and then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. The 1-0. -oh. And another ball. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, if you don't get to guys like this, a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. That one finds the zone. Three and one. One out, base is empty. three one and he couldn't come up with it trying to work his way back into the count right there but so much for that pretty good pitch but just doesn't get the call on 3 0 here's Juan Soto just missed judge leads off first with one away right through there for a strike swing and a miss one and two righty delivers and it's even up In the air, right center. This is mashed way back and gone. A gigantic blast. It's 2-2. That was blasted. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spent on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. And now it's Giancarlo Stanton. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. First pitch, and he just misses. One down, base is empty. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Tied up here in the early going. Swings and misses. Going to count one and two. And a pitch. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. And first offering is fouled off. He's given up a couple of runs, but the pitch count really not as high as you would think. Might be able to get through this one under 25 pitches. Now one and one. Two outs, bases empty. 
And that one fouled off. And that's off the inside edge. Now two and two. Got him. And that is that. Just one hit in the inning, but it was a big one right here as it ties the ball game. 2-2 game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here in New York, and now it's Dalton Varsho. Rodone, a former All-Star, 31 years old, a former first-round pick back in 2014. Rodone, back to work. Swings through that one for strike one. Ground ball left side, and it goes just foul. High fly ball right field. Soto gets under it, and a quick out number one. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Alejandro Kirk will hit next. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Really good athlete, and many times we talk about, you know, the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick feet. He's able to recognize the pitch, see the trajectory, and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop. Well, that's a frustrating into the at-bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics, and instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. And first offering is fouled off. Really impressive with the way he frames, the way that he sets it up, because sometimes those pitches are off the plate, but because he sets up and presents it so well, he still strikes for his pitcher. Left hand batter waits. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. And he hits a ground ball right side. Torres fires over to first. And that is the inning. Blue Jays go down in order. Score remains 2-2. Bottom of the second. Now it's the second baseman, Glaber Torres. Here comes a pitch. There's a strike. This one lifted in the air, left field. Varsho brings it in with a nice running grab. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Alex Verdugo, batting with one down, takes a strike. One down, base is empty. That one way inside. In the air, left side. On his way over. 
No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there are two outs. No, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Anthony Volpe at the plate now. That's ball one. Off the mark there. Two and oh. Right hander kicks deals. And there's a foul ball. The pitch. Just missed. That one is inside ball four. And I mean, oh, so close. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Kiermaier hauls it in to end the inning. One left for the Yankees. Score remains deadlocked at 2 2. Back now in the Bronx, out of the third inning. Now it's the right fielder, George Springer. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Drilled to right, way back there, and that is gone. He muscles that one out the opposite way. It's 3-2. He sent the first pitch over the wall. Must have dinner reservations because he wasn't wasting any time at the plate in that at bat. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch him from the on deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. Bobichet next up for the Blue Jays. And that's in there at the knees. Well, these Blue Jays doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. And here's a stat for you, Boo. They're making contact with more than 85% of the pitches that they're swinging at. It's pretty special stuff. Not so good if you're out there on the mound. Got him swinging. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. It's a good breaking ball there, just off the corner where you can't really do much damage, but it's close enough to where you've got to protect, and he just couldn't find a way to fight it off. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Outside low, and it's 1-0. They'll see you, this is a guy that grew up in big league clubhouses and it's something that you see throughout the game sons whose fathers also played the majors that misses the zone and now two and oh I can only imagine the comfort level of being in the ballpark for those kids who are fortunate enough to have a dad that played in the big leagues then being on the baseball field for some it's pressure for them they feel that they are right at home That's towards center. Two away down. Up next to the blue jay. And it'll bring up Justin Turner. He doubled home a run in his first A.B. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Two down, nobody on. On the ground to third. And that one finds its way through. 
wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night and just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Runner at first with two away. And next for Toronto, Kevin Biggio. Check swing, and that's a ball. High fly ball, shallow right field. And they get Biggio for the out. And that is that. It's a beautiful Springer dinger here. And the home team down a run. And we're back, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the Yankees leadoff hitter, DJ LeMayhew. The right-hander back to work. And that one clips the corner. Man, that pitch was dotted. So much talent on display when this guy's out there on the hill. And a swing and a miss. Really consistent release point. He's been able to pitch up and down and have excellent command at both locations. That one in the dirt. Now one and two. On the ground at first. And it finds its way through for a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Here comes Aaron Judge. He walked and came around to score his first time up. And that's off the inside edge. 1-0. And the right hater deals. The other way. Could be extra bases. Makes the turn at second, heads for third. Oh, the throw is wild. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He scores to tie it up. It's three all. Well, there you go, the RBI machine, another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Juan Soto now, he's already homered in this game. That misses the zone, ball one. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. Here in the last half of the third. Hard ground ball, base stop. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. John Carlos Stanton to the plate now. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Just missed. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and it's one and one. And that's in the dirt. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. And that one fouled off. 
But I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Fights it off, you'll see another. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. Two on, one out, and here is Anthony Rizzo. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. And that one fouled off. Two on, one out. And he grounds one to the right side. Fires to second for one. Back to the pitcher covering. It's a double play. Nicely done, and that'll do it. Yankees strike for a run on the RBI double. We're tied now with three apiece. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, number 36. The lefty fires. And a good eye there. There's the strike. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they are creeping into my mind right now. The one two. And that's down it away. Why to kick the pitch? Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Not a great curveball there at all, but clearly he wasn't looking for it because it just dropped right into the happy zone. And it looked like to me the swing was a little bit late. Tells me he gave up on it early and then just tried to have that emergency hack at the last second to put it in play. Far show in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Next offering is fouled back. There's a 1 1. And there's a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Go ahead, run on base. Alejandro Kirk next up for the Blue Jays. And the pitch is outside, ball one. Varsho stands at first with one out. Right through there for a strike. Next offering in there for a strike. And yeah, the count one and two. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out on that double play. Rodon checks over to first, and he's back. Rodon fires. That one not close. And the count is two and two. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. Gets a piece and stays alive. Rodon sets and deals. In the dirt, blocked. In there safely. And now a man into scoring position. 
Well, that right there erases the chance at the inning ending double play. So good job on the bases to move up on the wild pitch. Changes the outlook of the inning in a pretty big way. Three two keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. And ball four to a board. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. First and second, one out. So up next for Toronto, Kevin Kiermeyer. He's 0 for 1. Out towards left center. Verdugo ranging after it. Drops into the glove. Back to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup. And now the right fielder, George Springer. He's already homered here in this one. You have to be careful throwing him breaking pitches, even in an 0-0 count. He loves going after the off-speed stuff, and he's really good at hitting it. Fastball for a strike. Oh, yeah. And fouled off. So glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer all around the league. And that'll fall for a base hit. Here comes the runner. Here comes the throw. It's off the mark, and he scores. So first and second with two outs. Bobachek gets a chance to hit. One for two. That one's upstairs, ball one. And that is ball one. Two on, two outs. Swing, and this one's bounced on the ground. Collected by Torres. They get the force. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a 4-3 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back at Yankee Stadium, here's Glaber Torres. The pitch. That one catches the zone. Strike one. You know, these Yankees showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. It's not just the three runs they've already scored. On top of that, they forced this starter to throw more pitches than he wanted to at this point of the game. And another ball. And that pitch count is impactful because if they can keep making him work hard out there, it may force the bullpen to get involved a little sooner rather than later. Fouls one off. Two and two. And the righty deals. That's off the mark. And that's ball three. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Boog, he was shopping at the buckle right there, the way that slider made him look. That was just nasty. Here's Alex Verdugo. And there's a fly ball deep right field. That one is back. Back. Gone. He circles the bases. And this game is tied. It's 4-4. One pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. There he got a splitter that he was able to handle, allowed that pitch to travel a little bit deeper, and when it was time to commit, his hands exploded through the zone. Anthony Volpe digs in now. 
He reached out a walk his first time. That one off the mark. Ball one. All tied up. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Broken bat, roller to first. And he handles it himself for the out. Up next to me, the catcher, Austin Wells. So up next, Austin Wells. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Bounced up the middle. Bichette gets it to first, and that is that. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. All even now at four apiece. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back at Yankee Stadium, and now Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Vladimir this guy who grew up in big league clubhouses got to be a nice feeling Siggy when your father played in the big leagues and he passes down all that wisdom tied at four yeah and beyond that all the other men in those clubhouses that sort of take you under their wing as a son or a nephew and show you some of the tricks of the trade it's just invaluable that type of experience. Swings through that one for strike two. Struck him out swinging. He swung over top of the curveball. A pretty good break on the curveball right there. Maybe not as down in the zone as he would have liked, but deceptive enough to get that swing and miss. And if you don't catch that pitch out front on the barrel, it bears in on you pretty hard. So now Turner... In on that right side. First pitch, not close. Turner in his 14th season, 39 years old, and he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2006. And that one wrapped foul. One down, base is empty. Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. And a one-two. And another ball. Still two and two after the foul ball. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. Off the plate inside, and it's three and two. And it's ball four. He missed down low. One down. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. Wouldn't chase that time. Now fly ball to right center. Judge cutting across. Makes the grab on the run. That's out number two. Here's the second baseman. That's in for a strike. This one smoked out to left. 
Verdugo makes the grab. And that is that. Blue Jays held in check. This game's all tied at four. Back for more from the Bronx. Now the third baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. Gosman back to work. Fastball for a strike. Ripped on the ground a second. Throws the first in time. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. That one finds the zone. Going one. Good eye in that spot. All tied up. Last half of inning number five. Breaking ball through there for a strike. In the air, right side of the infield. Guerrero under it. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Two outs. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Kiermaier makes the play. That is the inning. So the Yanks go in order. Still all square at four apiece. Luke Weaver comes on now. Now the left fielder, Dalton Varsho. The left fielder, Dalton Varsho. The pitch. That one misses, and it's one to know. Activity in the bullpen. Ian Hamilton getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Canely also throwing. Tied at four. And a base hit up the middle. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. And now for the Jays, Alejandro Kirk. Weaver over to first. Varsho back in on a dive. First pitch misses. With the go ahead run at first, and we're the top half of the sixth. Hammered. Could be extra bases. Around second on his way to third. Heading for the plate. He'll score, the Blue Jays take the lead. It's 5-4. His confidence level is so high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Here's Kiermaier now.
Wormburner into the outfield for a knock. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. So the batting order turns over. George Springer now at the plate. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. Flips the corner. 0-1. Kick Sandius. Great spot to be in right here for the pitcher. You can either strike this guy out or get a ground ball double play. Righty to the plate. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Dominating strikeout there on just three pitches, and that's what a good power pitcher can do to you. If he's hitting his spots, filling up the strike zone, sometimes he bats over before it really begins. Bo Bichette next up for the Blue Jays. One for three. All well, the way these two teams have battled in this game, you know you need more. Got to continue to add runs if you're going to get out of here with a win. That one misses. And that's ball one. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. And that one fouled off. Right-handed reliever. There's the strike. 95 of that one. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch. It's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. At the belt and fires. Fouls it off. Still one and two. And a pitch. That's outside. And it's two and two. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Huge strike out there. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Rips one to right. Fair ball. One runs in. Around third. The relay not in time. He's safe. Now a three-run lead, seven to four. Well, a huge two RBI swing of the bat right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. New pitcher for the Yankees, Ian Hamilton. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Turner climbs in on that right side. Right down to shoot, and that's strike one. Runner at second, two down. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. In time. So the drop third strike doesn't hurt him, and that's that. But three score in the inning. Two of them on this two-run double. It's now a 7-4 ball game. Back in the Bronx. Well, we go bottom six. Now it's the DH, Giancarlo Stanton. And a pitch. 
right through there for a strike. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. On the inside corner for a strike. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. This guy hasn't thrown it very much. you got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Not close with that one, and the count is one and two. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. The Jays leading by three here in the bottom of the sixth. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. And they'll do it again. Next pitch is downstairs. And here it comes. On the ground right side. And that's just foul. Kicks and fires. That's out to center field. Kiermaier moving under it. Hauls it in for the out. Up next to the Yankees. The second baseman. Labor Torres up to hit. That's in for a strike on the outside corner. It's 0 1. He's gotten into a really good rhythm, set down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it as quickly as possible, keep the momentum going. And down on strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Yanks held in check. And they're on the wrong end of a 7-4. Back here in New York, all set for the start of the inning. And now for the Jays, Kevin Biggio. Here comes a pitch. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. And ball one. Pitch misses. And that's ball two. Right hander kicks deals. A little out front there as he swings through it. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. That one just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Three two good plate appearance there able to take the walk it wasn't easy but he earned that walk after a long at bat man at first now it's the second baseman mm. 
late on that fastball. There was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. Now the 01. Good eye right there. That catches the top part of the zone. That's strike two. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. Righty delivers. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. So digging in, Dalton Varsho. And a foul ball. First and second, no outs. Here in the top half of inning number seven. And a swing and a miss. Outside low, now one and two. Inside, just missed. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. No outs, runners at first and second. Got him looking. And there's one down. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. In the box now, no balls and a strike. Really good job in this spot to get ahead in the count. He's going to have to continue, finish off this hitter. That one ripped, but foul. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And now two gone. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer. That one finds the zone, and that is strike one. Left hand batter waits. Nope. Broken bat and it's popped up. And he makes the catch. And that's the third out. Blue Jays leave a pair. They hold a 7-4 lead. Back in the Bronx, bottom of the seventh. Here's the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. The Yanks in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And he deals. And yeah, that's a little high. Movement in the Blue Jays bullpen. Jimmy Garcia, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Meza getting cranked up as well. And a 1-0. Fastball for a strike. The Yankees looking to rally.
And the right hander deals. That one at the knees for a strike. Foul ball still a one and two count. The pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The one two. Battling here as he fouls it away. The pitch. In the air to left center. Varsho after it. Hauls it in and there's one away. And here is Anthony Volpe. He's 0 for 1. Ball one and a pitch inside. Base is empty one away. Here at the bottom of the seventh. That one is hammered right field. Back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Next to hit, Austin Wells. That one's in there, 0 and 1. This one high in the air to left center. Kiermaier sizing this one up. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Out of the bullpen for the Yankees, Tommy Canely. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's the right fielder, George Springer. And the pitch. Just off the outside edge. Ball one. Canely, in his ninth season, he features a changeup, a four-seamer, a slider, and he works in a sinker. Foul ball there. Missed with a changeup, two and one. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good, balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. Bichette in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Springer aboard here at first with nobody out. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. One at second. On to first, double play. Great job on the mound, fielding his position and making a good throw to second to get the double play started. Far too often, we see pitchers have a hard time with that throw, but no issues right there. That's good practice paying off in a game and resulting in two big outs. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Jimmy Garcia.
So the lineup flips over and stepping in for the Yankees, D.J. LeMayhew. And a pitch. A little bit low. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. And another ball. The pitch. Swung on, belted. Springer going back. And it's caught just in front of the wall. Here is Aaron Judge. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Well, that's today's style of baseball right there, right? Big time velo on the bump and big time pop at the plate. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Well, oh, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. And now it's Juan Soto. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. And it's fouled away. Two down, nobody on. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. That misses the zone, and it's one and two. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the AB going. And that one is in the dirt. Two balls, two strikes. Two down, nobody on. Down and in, moved his feet. The pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Hit hard. That gets through. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. Three strikeouts already. He's 0 for 3. Pitch misses. 1 and 0. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. Two outs. That one hammered, but pulled foul. Swings and misses, and he's gone for the fourth time tonight. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. All set to start the ninth in this one. And now, Justin Turner. And here it comes. And that's in the dirt. And that's ball one.
That one blasted deep to right. That's back. Stretches out and hauls it in. Gotta love the over-the-shoulder catch. I tell you what, those are really fun to make. And next for Toronto, Kevin Biggio. First pitch, just misses. Base is empty, one away. You're at the top of the ninth. This ball's chopped on the ground. Fires to first on the run, and they get Biggio for the out. Here's the second baseman. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. Right through there for a strike. And a swing and a miss there. Throwing the ball well, and they need the scoreless inning in relief right here. Been doing a good job keeping them in striking distance. Headed towards the corner. He dives, but he can't make the catch. Throws to second, and that's a two-out double. He went up there and got it. With two strikes, I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where he could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there coming back in that at bat. So two down, and now here is Dalton Varsho. There's a strike. Slapped foul. Two outs. And one in scoring position. Swings and misses. Struck him out. No runs. One hit. A double. No errors. And one man left. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. Blue Jays seven. And the Yankees four. Back now. And on the mound, the closer, Jordan Romano. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. Anthony Rizzo stepping in now for the Yankees. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. And he deals. And a foul ball. There's a swing and a drive. And it's out of here. He hammers one out to right. It's 7-5. Well, I'm not really sure how he kept that fair. When you're out in front on a breaking ball like that, such a good chance that it's going to hook foul. But not this time. He kept the hands moving forward just long enough to sneak it inside that foul pole. Here's Glaber Torres. That one fouled off. And a strike to Glaber. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. Back 
back and forth we go a seesaw battle in the late stages of this one this one popped up moving under this one puts it away for the out one down He's two outs away. Alex Verdugo stepping in now for the Yankees. And first offering is fouled off. Wouldn't chase that time. And the righty deals. Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. That one fouled off two and two. The Yankees trailing by two here in the last half of inning number nine. Bounce to the right side. And Verdugo is set down. Now batting, shortstop, Anthony. So last chance for the Yankees. Anthony Volpe getting ready to hit. And first offering is fouled off. Righty to the plate. They're down to their final strike. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. Romano is just one strike away. Two-run game with two away here in the bottom of the ninth. Ground ball to the middle. That's a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. That's tremendous fight from him, and I know it's got the dugout fired up down there. Down to the last strike. The left-hander on now, Tim Mesa. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. So a man aboard, and here's the catcher, Austin Wells. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a ground out. First pitch, and he just misses. Just missed. Well, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. Just off the inside edge. Big pitch coming right here. Last thing he wants to do is put the tying run on base, but he can't groove one either. And that's a strike. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If you can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. With the tying run at the plate, we're in the last half of the ninth inning. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. The tying run at the plate. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Fights it off, you'll see another. Tying run at the plate. Got him! And that's the ball game. Well, this was a fun game all the way around. We saw plenty of action. 12 runs total on the board, but a pretty close finish at the end.
A 7-5 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.